In today's video, I'm going to take a look at three new products from Callaway that could very well be their best selling products in 2025, in my opinion, and really beneficial to most average golfers out there. I am back at Heswell Golf Club and clearly going to use these greens that are running extremely pure. You can tell that from the very first put of the day. These products are probably, well, without doubt, you as a punter is always going to be interested in the flagship product, which is always going to be the driver. And I can tell you, it's not the driver that I'm really interested in in this video. Bit more, bit more. Yeah, that's not bad. How good is this place at the moment? Hessel Golf Club looking exceptional. The biggest trend for me in this last 12 months has not been drivers. It's not been fairway woods, it's not been hybrids. It has been really at the opposite end of the game. People don't necessarily pay attention to what is a really important aspect of certainly lowering your golf scores. But Callaway have paid attention, not only to this new lineup, but into a new, uh, let's call it technology that they've clearly embraced. And so have you. In my hands right now is one of those new products that I've been referring to. Go, go, go. That's two from two. I think I'm going to sell these things bigger than what Callaway might because they have brought out their new lineup of putters called Square to Square. And effectively, to my mind at least anyway, it's very much working on this theme of zero torque. Although Callaway, don't explain it that way. And don't go anywhere because at the end of this video, I'll tell you the real reason as to why this putter lineup is gonna be without doubt Callaway's best selling products in 2025. Pretty impressive to say the least and certainly wasn't expecting that as a start. They are, like I said, square to square. And I don't know why, but in the sort of media press release, whatever you want to call it, the technology is not explained as being zero torque, but it suggests that the putter heads want to stay square throughout the stroke. So they stay short of calling it zero torque, but that's the principle. And there are three products that have released, or three head types. The blade style, they're all center shafted. The blade style, which I've got in front of me now, I think this is the DW model. Then we've got uh, a seven, which is again something we've seen in pretty much every lineup that uh, Callaway have released for some years. And then we've got the, uh, the really popular Jailbird model, those two being uh, very much mallet styles. They're all very, very different. And in today's video, what I'm gonna tell you is not only my first thoughts and impressions on, uh, on the performance of these, but how each of those models also differ and why it's a real big thing. So there's a couple of key elements that are gonna really be popular with the golf in public and that is about familiarity because what we've seen in some of this type of putter so far is some very odd shapes um, some very strange sort of positions in terms of the shaft position what you've got here is something that first of all you'd be very familiar with and that is the face insert the face insert being the kind of the white hot that has been really popular for Callaway for some years so if you're into that style of putter then straight away it's an easy switch up you'll then see head profiles once again that you'll be very familiar with so there's nothing strange on the eye and although Callaway suggests there is a forward lean or forward press there is and you can perhaps pick it up there on the camera but it's nothing that's sort of abnormal and there's good and bad about that situation if I put a ball down and we'll take a look at, we'll do a lucky dip and we'll go with a jailbird. And I've had great success with each type of putter so far in terms of holding a ball. They're all center shafted. That is something that if you've not used a center shafted putter before, then you're gonna to have to get used to it. It's something slightly different. You'll either like it or not. But with the other putters, there certainly feels to be in a position that's adopted. It's very much a forward press and there's no getting away from it that's done for you you have got to manipulate the putter a little bit at address and just adopt that position and that's something like i said some people will like some people will like the idea of just being able to go into the sort of fixed position the no debate thing but for me each of the three putter heads sit very nice at address very square and as with them all, our 100% record is gone. 
as with all these styles of putters, it's simply having a little bit of faith in this uh, sort of square to square concept. And that really means just letting the putter do its own thing. It doesn't feel as unique of a concept, if you like, these three putters, as I've experienced with others. And again, that can be both good and bad because this is very much more traditional, what you're used to, like I said, profile, setup, face insert. And for that reason, it will make them very, very popular because everybody likes familiarity. One thing I want to point out that I've become very apparent and noticeable, and you see it more on the blade style than you do on the other two, is the kind of curved bottom. It's almost like the what you see on the bottom of a rocking chair. And it just clearly shows you where the middle of the putter face is in terms of its balance. But what I would say about that is that you have to, again, sort of find that position. I wouldn't want to sit the club with the sort of uh, toe up and vice versa. I wouldn't want heel up either. So you have to find that sort of center ground to make sure you're positioned correctly. But what's unusual, like I said, is you're used to seeing, or I'd be used to seeing something that's relatively flat in terms of the bottom and how it sits on the ground. So it's something to be aware of. And like I said, we'll do some close-ups on screen for you now. It's not as visible on the other two mallet models, but there certainly is an element that you just need to sort of find that correct position. Really strong um, alignment, certainly on the, uh, on the Jailbird. Oh, do you know what? Yes, this is impressive. Um, I don't know if it's a performance of the putters or me, I can't think how to work out which is best. I even forgot what I was wanting to talk about, the grip, because there's an unusual concept, well, it's not hugely unusual. We've got stroke, stroke lab shaft, which again, has been something that Callaway have worked on for quite some time. But interestingly enough, it's counterbalanced, and in the butt end of each of the grips, it varies depending on which grip you have, there'll be a 20 to 30 gram uh, of counterbalance. And to be honest with you, I think that's something that's really effective again for a lot of uh, average golfers and uh, I just seem each of the putters are incredibly I would say well balanced very comfortable and uh, the one thing is very noticeable is just that the weight of the putter uh, really sort of does its own thing no manipulation required stand there stroke away pick your line get your pace right and uh, I just love the square to square concept if that's what Callaway are calling it and uh, yeah so impressed you know with these but the one big deal is yet to be revealed. Let's try a bit of a longer putter, longer putt. We've been having it too easy so far. If this goes in, it's time to retire. No, but it's a good roll and good pace. And I think that's one of the things that's the familiarity with this face insert. It's always been really good and very popular, the white hot. But I mentioned at the beginning of this video to stick around because the real reason why these are going to be so popular is maybe not all to do with the fact that they're right on trend in terms of this kind of old uh, zero torque idea. Yes, they're also very good putters and I think they'll perform well with a lot of average golfers, but the big deal is the price point because what I'm super impressed with is Callaway's efforts to make these affordable. This putter lineup is gonna come in at 289 UK pounds. Now to put that in perspective, it's not far off being half the price of its competitors in this genre. So that's gonna give it a huge advantage. And for lots of people who've wanted to try the other brands, but fearful because of the price, then it gives them an access point into this kind of marketplace um, at a realistic price point. I mean, realistic at 289 sounds a bit daft because a few years ago, a putter used to be 100 quid or so. But the reality is, this kind of putter is coming in at a ridiculously high price. And like I said, 500 pound is a sort of benchmark price. So to break that 300 pound barrier is something that we've really got to applaud Callaway for. And I don't think there's much more left for me to say. Go on, go on. Oh my word. I tell you what, Callaway needs to sign me up here because I'm selling these things uh, on your behalf with this putting display. Greens have been fantastic. The summary is this. My thoughts are, first of all, they've brought this concept out in three very, very popular head types. So whatever type of uh, person you are visually in terms of what you like to look at, 
you've very much got those same options brought into these three models. Each are very different and you need to try them before you invest in this kind of thing because like I said, face insert, really, really popular. Without doubt, the next thing for me is I've got to do a video where we sort of compare all of these zero torque style putters, I'll call them, um, and put them together because the best thing that's happened in the last few months is that you've now got options to access this lineup and all of these models from each of the brands is very, very different. And that's a good thing. People complain about how many products brands bring out. I say bring as many as you want because it gives you, as a punter, more to choose from and get something that is really suits your eye, what you want. So, real positive move from Callaway. Like what they've done. Great lineup with those three. My own putting display has been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, we should just leave it there, I think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon.